fire. More accurately, he says the lake of fire was never created for man. Yeah. He said it was made for the for Lucifer, and for Satan, and the fallen angels. Right. That's what it says it was made for. So God, judgment day is God judging against death. It's him coming to destroy death and destroying sin in every remnant of sin and death. And not destroying in the way we think of an angry Zeus God. Yeah, right. Destroying in the sense of, like, if we turn off the lights in here, there'll be nothing but darkness. And if I turn on the lights, we could say the light destroyed the darkness. The darkness. Mm -hmm. So he's going to come full of glory and light. And he's going to swallow up everything that isn't, doesn't have light. That isn't life. Anything that doesn't have life will be swallowed up. Mm -hmm. It'll cease to exist. So he comes to judge against death and destroy that which kills people. Now, if people want to join themselves to death, he can't stop them from doing that. Right. And they store up for themselves death. Right? Mm -hmm. He doesn't store it up for them. They store it up for themselves. That's right. Right? Yeah. They make their own cup full. Paul said it this way, seeing as how you judge yourself unworthy of eternal life, I'm going to go preach the gospel to the Gentiles now. <laughs> right? right? He didn't talk about God judging them unworthy of eternal life. You see how you judge yourself that way. It's the heart of man that God's got to deal with. Right. It was the heart of Adam that judged himself. That's why he went away from God. It wasn't God that judged against Adam. God would only come to save Adam. How do we know? God clothed Adam, didn't he? He did. <laughs> So God, even when he found man dead in his sin, he come with a judgment that said, man, you're mine. And this is what I intend to do, to save you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. God judged for Adam, even in the place where he sinned. But Adam's heart judged him, unworthy of life. And so he ran from God and hid in fear. Mm -hmm. 